。为什么这颗星球明明非常完美，却让科学家越来越不安呢？它不缺阳光，不缺温度，甚至可能拥有液态水，几乎满足我们对第二地球的全部幻想。但越研究，越觉得哪里不对劲。它的体积超出了岩石行星的上限，却又不像气态巨行星那样膨胀。它的位置刚好卡在宜居带，但既没有卫星，也没有任何已知的伴星。它的每一个细节都像是某种人为设计，不是巧合，不是例外，像是宇宙在反复调试之后的最终版本，仿佛不是自然生成的，而是被制造出来的。它就是开普勒2 2 b， 一颗本不该存在的星球，却成了天文界最受关注的目标。今天我们要做的不是简单介绍它的参数，而是拆解它的反常之处，看看它背后到底藏着什么隐秘信息。开普勒2 2 b。Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work 'cause my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life 'cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hold my beer for a minute. I'm 'bout to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning. Oh, and this is just the beginning. I need a big change, help me feel like living. I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting and I'll never look back. Moving on till I get it all. And we all got dreams. We all want things, but what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? And do you believe you can do anything? But what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? In 2011, NASA officially announced Kepler 22b is confirmed. It is the first time it is confirmed that it is in the orbit of the planet Mars. This is not just that it is found a planet, but it is confirmed that it is another possible world where life exists. From that moment, the universe has entered a new frontier. Kepler 22b is about 600 years away from the Earth, following a very similar orbit of the Earth and the Sun. It is spinning around for 290 days, the distance between the two is 0.85 km, which is exactly at the orbit of the planet Mars. It is located in the orbit of the planet Mars. It is located in 如果它拥有类似地球的大气层，表面温度可能维持在22摄氏度左右，刚好是我们人类最舒适的春天气候。这听起来几乎完美的不真实，但越完美就越显得异常。这颗星球的体积是地球的 2.4 倍，而密度至今未解。它太大，不像岩石星；太小，又不像气体星。它正卡在被称为富尔顿差距的模糊区间里，一个在理论模型中几乎不该有行星存在的位置。太阳系没有这种尺寸的行星。如果你非要类比，它就像看到一只身高两米四、肌肉却不符合人类结构的大猩猩，你根本不知道该把它归到哪类生物。更离谱的是，它的轨道几乎完美成圆，没有偏心率，没有任何可见扰动，像是被精准计算后安放在恒星的黄金轨道上。它没有月亮，没有伴星，也没有其他行星围绕同一恒星运行，整个系统干净的不正常。科学家检查它的光变曲线，都觉得它不像一个真实星球，更像是一个运行在宇宙模拟器中的标准样本。有时候太理想反而不像自然产物，而正因为我们对它的结构毫无头绪，它才成为了最难定义的那类星球。它可能是岩石星、气态星、水世界，也可能是某种我们从未建立过的全新类型。